Google is just about everybody's first stop for doing their research. When you're doing your research for an academic paper, however, you do need to be careful at some of the resources that you end up finding on Google. You also don't know what you're missing when you're using Google as well. Google is limited to searching information that is freely available on the web or the open web. Information that is behind a paywall or a subscribed resource is not visible to Google when it is searching your search terms. Therefore, you could be missing a great deal of quality content. Furthermore, the information that Google is returning in your results often comes with a few caveats. You need to be able to determine the authority of those resources, which can sometimes be a bit tricky. Let's see. I'm going to search for Loblaws Competitive Advantage. The first couple of resources look just fine. They're the annual reports and some information directly from Weston.ca. You could find that very easily on your own and it's definitely worthwhile for you to take a look at. However, you should be looking at many different types of resources in order to get an accurate picture of Loblaw's competitive advantage. So let's take a further look at some of our hits. We have something from Athabasca University, which should be authoritative. It's coming from a university, so let's take a look. I think this is actually somebody's digital thesis, given the, the resource that it's coming from. It's a strategy analysis from Loblaw Canada Limited. However, I don't see any dates attached to when it may have been written, and I'm only seeing an abstract as well, so therefore I can't access this full resource, so therefore I'm going to abandon it and go back to my results set and see if I can find something else to use. I'm seeing a couple of slideshows, which you know, are probably of limited uh, use. They're also a little bit old. We probably don't want to be bothered too much with slideshows. We're looking for really, really uh, high quality articles uh, analyzing Loblaw's competitive advantage. I see a PDF here. I'm going to click on that. And I see that it's called Loblaw Competitive Limited, a strategic analysis by Emily Taro. Well, that sounds pretty good, but who is Emily Taro? As I scroll down, I'm starting to get a little bit suspicious that maybe this is a student who has submitted her assignment and has it available on the web. The footnotes uh, and the, the use of the word assignment that I'm seeing, um, they're tipping me off that this might be another student's work, which you most certainly do not want to use in your paper. We don't know if Emily has any authority whatsoever, if she's accurate, uh, and just, it's, it's a good rule of thumb. Don't use another student's assignment as a resource in your paper. Further down, I'm starting to see content from the Financial Post, from the Star, from the Globe and Mail, and that's, that's all really wonderful. We, those are the sort of articles that we want to be accessing and reading when we're evaluating a company's competitive advantage from many different viewpoints. Uh, I'm going to take a look at this one resource here from www.northamericaninterest.ca. It looks like it's um, a competitive analysis of the supermarket industry. That sounds really good. So let's take a look at what we see. The first thing that I'm noticing is that this is not a very professionally presented website. There's a big mishmash of information from, I'm not even really sure what sources. Over here in tiny print I see something from grocerynews.org, uh, which could be useful in and of itself but I'm suspicious of the amount of information that they're presenting on this website. Not only is it not properly referenced, but I really don't know much about who these people are and perhaps what their uh, approach to this particular topic is. You always have to take into consideration that there is probably a motive behind most information that's put out on the web. And you have to think to yourself, if I can't figure out much about who's writing this, I can't really figure out their motive. So perhaps I don't want to use this information. So I'm going to give this one a failing grade and it's not making the cut as a good resource for my research. So I'll go back and I'm going to just speak a little bit about these resources from newspapers. Uh, major newspapers in Canada are a really wonderful source of information. However, you can't always guarantee that you're going to be able to access this information because a lot of it is now behind a paywall. The library does have subscriptions to all of these resources and those that I'm going to show you further on in this presentation will show you how to access 
newspaper content that is current and authoritative, and most importantly, not behind a paywall. That's it for now.